Want to declutter your home but having trouble getting started? If you're looking around your house feeling totally overwhelmed, wanting a neat and tidy space but you just can't figure out where to begin, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com. I know what it feels like to feel motivated to start decluttering but also feel like the job might be too big to handle. I still have days when a space really needs improving but I only have a few minutes and I think oh that's not enough time to accomplish anything. But there's still a lot of good that can be done even if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're short on time. The key is to let go of needing to get it all done at once and needing to make it perfect. Instead, focus on making the declutter as easy as possible and aim for just a little improvement at a time. It really takes the pressure off. Ready to move past overwhelm and declutter your space quickly and easily? Here are three steps to do it. Step one, just pick one small part of your home. Just one. You can pick the part of the house that frustrates you the most, or you can pick the part of the house that you love to be in the most. That's the space you're gonna start decluttering today. The smaller the better. Not the whole room, not a whole cupboard. Start with one shelf for an easy win that will make you feel much better at the end. Step two, take a step back and look at the area before you begin. Think about what you'll be using this space for when it's clear. What are you gonna keep there? What is it gonna look like? Imagine how good it will feel to look at it once it's done and let yourself feel that way right now. Step three, one item at a time. Don't take everything out at once and dump it on the floor and try to declutter and organize it that way. Pick up one thing and decide, is it keep, is it donate, is it throw away? It's always gonna be one of those three. Then move on to the next item and repeat. Just pick them out of the space one at a time and decide as you go. Once you've sorted everything into these three groups, you throw away the rubbish immediately, you put the donate items in the boot of your car, and you're left with a much smaller pile of things that you just need to put away neatly. And you don't need to find the perfect spot for it today. Every little improvement makes you feel better. What if you're not sure where something belongs? You probably don't need to keep it. If you're really not sure whether you want to keep something or not, put it in a box with a lid on it. Make sure you can't see through the box. Write the date six months from now on a post-it note and stick it on the box. Then put the box somewhere where you're not going to come across it easily. So maybe in a cupboard or in the garage. If you don't open the box in the next six months, it's safe to say that you don't need whatever's inside it. So just donate the box without opening it again. Okay, what if the kids interrupt us? They can help. Let the kids manage the rubbish pile and they can take everything that you decide is rubbish and put it into the bag for you. If you're decluttering one piece at a time instead of dumping the pile on the floor, it won't matter anyway if you get interrupted because you won't have a big mess to come back to. And if you only get a few things done, that's okay. You can try again another day. This doesn't have to be a big, one-time, complicated project. It can just be something that you do a little of every week. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you're ready for next steps, you can check out the Less Mess, Less Stress and More Calm online program. This is where I walk you through simple steps to organize and maintain your home, even if you have young kids at home with you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Seriously, every time. All I want to do is like touch these pieces of hair and fix them, but it's going to... Because uh, don't take everything out. There's a car going past. All right, listen, we stuffed wardrobe this week. This is going on. <laughs> and it looks terrible, but that's okay. It'll sound amazing.